Welcome back to the channel folks. This week we're going to be fitting this, the Hex Easy Can Gen 2 Accessory Manager. I've got a load of gadgets that I'm going to be fitted to the bike and this is the best way to do it. Stick around and find out more. So the Hex Easy Can, I bought this from Nippy Normans. Inside the pack comes the Hex Easy Can module itself, the connecting wires, some 3M adhesive patches, the connector blocks, some extra connector wires, and a product range from Easy Can themselves. You also get some cable ties for installation, the data cable, to connect to the Hex Easy Can to your computer and a selection of connector wires of various output ratings. So the Hex Easy Can itself comes with four outputs of varying ratings, the male and female cables to connect to the CAN bus system on the bike and the power cable which connects to your bike's battery. First off, you'll need to update the Hex Easy Can to the latest software. Here's the port on the back of the Easy Can. Connect that straight to the cable and connect the other end to your computer of choice. Then go to the Hex Easy Can website. Scroll down to the software for either Windows or Mac. Download the software and install on your computer. Once installed, start the software, connect the Hex Easy Can, and update as directed. Now, we're ready to install on the bike. Right folks, if you have watched the previous vid on how to install the Gen 1 Hex Easy Can onto your bike, then it's absolutely no difference with the Gen 2. You probably don't want to watch this. However, here we go. First off, you've got to remove the seats. I'm not going to show you how to do that. If you can't figure that out, then definitely leave this for the professionals. Remove your seats, both the pillion and the main seat. Your Hex Easy Can itself, that will be located under the pillion seat and it has to be able to connect to the RDC which is basically the tyre pressure monitoring system. I can't remember what the German is, I'll put it up on the screen now. So when you're, when you're locating your Hex Easy Can just make sure you're given enough room to connect all the cables and then this power cable has to run through here down to where the battery is located down there. So first part of this process is you have to remove uh, this cable here off of the RDC. That's so that you can plug the Hex Easy Can into the CAN bus system of the bike. Now, nice and simple, obviously it helps when the bike's fairly new, but there's a little sort of push. There's a little tab here on the cable. You just push in there onto that clip. You'll hear a little click and then a bit of gentle persuasion and off it pops and that's that there. So that is then the male part of the canvas and that has to plug in to the female part of the Hex Easy Can. And then you plug the male part of the Hex Easy Can into the RDC itself. Nice and simple, like this. So as you can see, we now have the Hex Easy Can and I have uh, that plugged into the RDC and then the, cable, the original cable that went into the RDC that also plugs into the Hex Easy Can, the male and female ports. And that's that done. So then I have to locate the Hex Easy Can somewhere where these cables sit nice and snug. They're not under any tension, everything's good. It's not interfering with the pillion seat when the pillion seat goes on. So as you can see, all this will sit down. All that will sit down there. And then the power cable here, that has to run all the way down along the inside of the frame, down to where the battery is. 
nice and easy. This is the hottest day of the year so far. It's like an oven. I think it's about 41 degrees inside this garage at the moment. And it is so close because there's no, I can't open any of the doors or windows because of the noise outside. Oh my God, this is my second t-shirt. Anyway, let's crack on. So to remove the battery cover, it's just a T25 torsion screw. One screw, nice and easy. Voila. And off it pops. Then you have to remove the negative, then the positive. Always negative first, remember that. Negative cable off first and back on last. Remember that, otherwise things go bang bang. Right, now we have to feed the power cable along the inside of the frame down towards the battery. Now obviously it's a couple of cable lines here and they're going to be really tricky. Unless you take all this off, it's going to be tricky to get that through. We have a little fix. The cable tie trick. Remember this one? Just thread it through the two ends like so. And you see that? It's the two ends. That's it threaded through. You don't even need to connect the cable tie up because the end, that will hold it there like that. And then all we need to do is feed that through. Easier said than done. Little bit of jiggery pokery and through it comes. So we've got that bit through here. Just fed that straight underneath. So we've managed to feed that straight out under the main part here. So we want this to run through here, we'll have it under the frame. Let's just feed that around the back, like so. And I want that to go onto the positive cable and that to go on the negative. So we connect up the positive first. Positive positive like so and we want this to run and we want the negative on so we are all connected there that runs in here what I'll probably do is I'll just cable tie that on to the frame just to keep that snug. Take a small cable tie. Just want to keep that nice and snug to the frame. Cut that off. And that's that. So you can see the connections from the Hex Easy Can there, they're all sitting open, but it comes with two blocking plates and this just keeps any gunk and things off of them when you're not using them. So I'll connect a couple. like that and then for these two that are there I'm just going to tape off for the time being because I'm not using them yet obviously that'll be nice and easy to remove once I'm ready to add a few more accessories and then we can just locate them all down there keep everything out the way like that ready for the pillion seat to go back on job done so there we go folks, that's literally as easy as it is to install a Hex Easy Can. Connect up the power, connect it up to the RDC module, bang, that is it. Then uh, what you then have to do is decide what accessories you're going to connect and then you have to use the inbuilt software to determine which inputs you're going to use. This has high power and low power uh, input outputs and you can decipher which one does which in the software. But we'll cover that when we fit the Innov K2 bike camera. So folks, it's as simple as that, it really is. The Hex EasyCan Gen 2 Accessory Manager takes about five minutes, maybe 10 minutes in total to install into your bike. 
Again, we'll go through all the different options that are available once we install the K2 in of camera to the bike, which is happening very soon. The Hex Easy Can itself in the UK is available from Nippy Normans, as are most of the accessories that I've been fitting in here. That's where I get them. Nippy Normans is kindly coming on board now. They've seen the series. So they're going to start supplying a few more uh, accessories and I will be putting them on the bike as and when they arrive. So keep your eyes peeled for them. Few people asking, where's all the riding vids? They are coming folks, it's just that at the moment I am right in the middle of the tour season and the tour vids take forever to edit. So I just don't have the time to edit them. So I'm trying to do these ones, which were much quicker to edit, much quicker to produce. And I'll have them up there for you to fill the gap whilst I edit the tours. I've just been in Slovenia for a week. I'm going back in a couple of days, taking a tour party. Lockdown and quarantine with COVID has created an utter mare with all my tours, which were predominantly Spain based. So I'm trying to swap a lot of them across into Slovenia, Croatia, Italy and Austria. Believe it or not, we're okay there. So. There is lots more riding to come, don't worry about that, and there will be some review vids coming soon. Bye folks, to all your subscribers out there, thank you so much for your continued support. If you've not yet smashed that subscribe button, make sure you do, and ding dong the bell, because that will inform you each time there's a new vid. The podcasts, they are still coming, but again, because I've just been away in Slovenia, I haven't had a chance to do one, so there'll probably be about a two or three week uh, pause in the podcast, but don't worry, they are still going on. Some big guests coming up, cannot wait for you to see them. All you patrons out there, thank you so much for all your continued support. If you have been a patron and you've had to leave because of COVID, please don't feel bad for that, I totally understand. Folks, if you have not yet checked out Patreon, feel free to do so, patreon.com forward slash teapot1. It is the lifeline of the channel at the moment, so I appreciate any and all of your support. Right folks, get on out there, do your thing, look after those that you love, but most importantly, most importantly, live your life. Ooh